What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the Yokozuna sub tank by Mars Team. Now, never really heard of those guys or this product before I received it. They sent, they asked me to hit me up now. Do you want to review our sub tank? And I'm like, sure, I'll review a sub tank. <laughs> that was like two months ago, so I'm not, I haven't been too quick about getting to this guy. Um, first impressions on this thing, really nothing groundbreaking, right? You look at it and you're like, oh, okay, sweet, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, this thing goes for about 50 bucks. Replacement coils, packs of five, go for about 20. Um, so why is it cool? Should you buy it? What do you, what do I think about it? Um, let me show you. So. Initially, you have your deck, you have your glass barrel, and you have your chimney portion, so three standard fair pieces, right? You have, oops, you have this guy, which is the airflow. Now, upon using this more and more, this, man, this airflow is so smooth, and overall, the machining all over this entire thing is really, really wicked good. The glass is pretty damn thick for this size of tank. I've had it for two months and I have not broken it. <laughs> so that says a lot. Then it runs off these things. These little tiny, they look like Kanger sub, sub, uh, sub tank coils. I mean, they're nothing special, you know. Four holes for the wicking. Uh, we got about, it looks about like an eight or nine wrap down in there. And I mean, it's pretty boring. There's nothing too cool. Um, they have a gold plated uh, bottom, which is sweet. And the draw on this thing is pretty tight, but let's fill it up. I'll show you how it vapes and um, sort of like my thoughts on this guy. Before we dive into filling this thing up, let's take a look into the chimney. Now, the chimney is not the standard chimney. You, If you see in there, there are these metal pieces. One's going down, one's going up. And it looks like they sort of do this inside the chimney itself. You know, it's giving you some steps. I think there's like, um, I bet there's only two, but I don't know. There might be three just because you can't see any light coming through. So I bet there's three, um, four, maybe four, I bet there's four. Um, this thing doesn't have any spit back. So this chimney is a really smart design. It uh, works great, and I've been pretty happy with it, and it's not too noisy. Um, so when I got my first tank filled with my first coil, I got the coil into the chimney and screwed it in this way. Tightened it uh, so it sits in there, and then I filled it this way. This tank has a bottom fill. I don't know very many people that use bottom fill, so I did it this way and it's been working awesome. Um, obviously you only want to fill up to about the threads. Once you hit the threads, you're going to be in bad shape if you go any further. The capacity on this tank is 2.5 mil. Um, I don't really measure it. You know, I sort of filled it up. But it's pretty full. It's pretty full. If I'm short a quarter of a mil, I think I'll live. <laughs> and then I screw this guy. This guy has threads down here and threads on the bottom of the coil, and it holds the whole thing together. Now, as I'm screwing all this stuff together, one of the things that you really notice is how well this entire thing is machined. It said designed by Mars Team Japan. So, designed in Japan, uh, where it's produced, I don't know. Um, does it feel like it was made in China? Well, shoot guys, honestly, I don't think it does. I think it feels better than that. I think it feels really soft, the edges, no nothing sharp, nothing will cut my fingers, you know what I mean? Um, the threads are all very soft, very smooth, nothing really is grindy on this entire thing. And this AFC, oh my god. It's so tight, I and mean, it's so smooth too. So, um, just going back to the way I filled it, that little bubble, that little tiny bubble is the only thing I got from filling this thing upside down. So, you don't really need to use the, uh, 
what the thing is that? Bottom fill, because that's, it doesn't really matter. Um, they gave me a wonderful little drip tip. <sighs> okay, so let's flip the camera around. I'm gonna vape it on an SXJ Mini at, what is it? 35 watts, and uh, we'll get going here, okay? Okay, so one thing I didn't realize I didn't do was prime the inside of the coil at all, which is pretty dumb. You should always do that, right? If you're using any sort of sub tank, any RTA, drip your wick. <laughs> and I didn't do that. Um, so I'm really hoping that it's not gonna just be a, a, some awesome dry hit. It seems like it's cool. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Kinda scared. Okay. Um, let me turn this down. Let's go down to like a... Uh, just a soft hit on this. Open up the airflow. Um, so real quick, uh, before we go any further with like the baby knit and stuff, um, this guy, the airflow is very restricted. It's more, uh, it's more suited for, um, anything from like a DNA 40, um, to like a 75 watt, 80 watt box. Anything higher than that, um, you're going to end up frying the thing because the, the guy comes with like, this is, it says it's a 0.32 ohm coil. There's a point three and there's a point five that they came with. I was vaping the point five um, when I first got the package and it had like fuck, it had it like 25 watts or something. It was just kind of long. This is not a cloud chasing Addy. This is not for the people that want to blow clouds. And in in lieu of building on a dripper, this is um it's much more convenient. It has a benefit, something like that. Um, oh, I would have at least. So. I mean, it still has reasonable production, but the flavor is really, really good. Um, it's a this type of tank at this wattage will give you a satisfying, very uh, reserved vape. For the majority of the day, you know, on a single watt battery device like this um, SXJ Mini, this will probably last me you know, five, seven, eight hours if I'm not really cranking out. I'm just casually vaping. Actually, I take it back. It'll probably last me like four hours, but still, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a really enjoyable vape, and it doesn't use a ton of juice at this wattage either, so. Juice will last longer. Your battery will last longer. Um, downfall of the tank? Yeah, you can't take this really gnarly lung inhale, and it doesn't give you a ton of production. So if that's what you're looking for, this is really the super wrong tank for you to get. Don't get this tank. But if you want to have a casual tank, you know, you take out, um, you know, do it in a particular situation when you don't need to be chucking pretty hard. You know, if you just want to like actually just bait. Casually vape all day, or for an extended period of time, like say a dinner or a uh, big or something. Um, it's cool. I would probably boost up your nick level. So if you, I vape a three, so I would probably put like a six on this and call it a day. Um, I put a three in here right now. But, long ass hit, and no dry hit, so that's cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Not a cloud machine by any means, guys, but this is a very nicely built, um, very reserved tank. So if you're into like DNA 40s and uh, lower wattage devices, or if you want something that 
will give you a bit more of a reserved vape for those particular occasions when tossing a huge cloud would not be the most prudent. Um, this thing's great. Anything else? Any, any last things? Um, I haven't seen a lot of these. Hardly anywhere, you know? So, as far as availability of the coils, if it uses other different types of coils, I don't know. Um, you open up this whole thing and it tells you all this stuff, but nothing really about where to get new coils. Um, where did I go? I saw, I saw it on like Vapor DNA, I think, and there was a few other websites. Um, but if you have a chance to check it out, I would. It's cool. Um, like I said, very casual vape, but still pretty satisfying in the right circumstances. Alright.